Are y'all really going to meet the Pioneer Lady? Yes. I will get her to make part. a video for you. Futuristic part. Ooh. If you get her to send me a video that says, Hey, John, David, and Allison, thanks for eating my food every night. Because we both love her so much. Done. I, oh shit, we literally had her food two nights in a row this week. Hey, do you want? Hey, can I text you beforehand and then we'll FaceTime you? Say, like, get ready to FaceTime. I don't, I don't want FaceTime. I'd be nervous. I tell you, I'm on the news tomorrow. Huh? You're on the news tomorrow. They, fi- the news they tomorrow. finally caught you. I'm on the news. What'd you do? <laughs> they finally got the tater. They, got- <laughs> they finally got mean? the tater. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. What? All right, what happened? So, now my dad's out of town, and he does the Honey Hole Insider local fishing report with David Owen, but I got yeah. to do it this week, and I was nervous. And he was nervous. For the local news? The camera's in there way bigger. <laughs> bigger, boy. And I didn't look at the right one, and then I made a joke about the weatherman. Uh-oh, that's, that's bad. And the weather girls started laughing, so Uh-oh. then we, it, yep. it only took me three takes, though. <laughs> Have you ever done the local news? No. I don't know why. It was scary. <laughs> They don't want to talk to me. <laughs> I'm going to be on there tomorrow. Local news, baby. Tune in. Tune in. You can find out how to catch fish on the Washtenaw River. How, how much do y'all pay River. for that? Uh, uh, that's what I don't know. That's my <laughs> dad's call. He don't know. I was just wondering what the marketing budget was on getting yep. the fishing report on the local news. Oh, no. Well, I was like, how long do I have to go? They were like, 90 seconds, but however long you want, you're paying for it. I was like, okay, cool. Okay. Nice. But I did my whole spiel that I had practiced. What time does this air? 6 a.m. tomorrow and 9 p.m. I'm gonna catch 6 a.m. and 9 p.m. I'm gonna catch the late. So did you just memorize the it? Early or did you early one to 6 p.m. I memorized it, and then when I was done, I still had one minute to go. It went way faster. So what are they biting on Lake Claiborne? I didn't tell people that. Come on, oh, that's tough. Never mind. <laughs> that's tough. I don't well, then know. What is it? Well, then what kind gotta, of fishing hey, report is this? It's a 90 second fishing report. You got to cover the Auckland mist. <laughs> Boy. I did. So I fire him. I fixed that. You got to cover the Auckland mess. I told everybody, hey, guess what? It's hot outside. Wear sunscreen. Thank you. That's right. Catch him in the mouth. And, and, and stay hydrated. Drink plenty of liquid. But yeah, my dad's on his first. And then you use the wacky worm. Hook it in the middle and throw it up on the edge of the bank. That's it. You could do the fishing report. Will you come hey. with me next for Thursday? <laughs> no. Oh, I got to do that stupid fishing report. Hey, that would be the best one. Oh, that would be <laughs> fantastic. It'd have, to be, it'd have to be longer than 90 seconds. <laughs> hey, okay, let me tell you, stupid this, stupid that. Throw it out there on the That's stupid right. thing. Piece of junk. No, no, hey. Trash, boys. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No. It's been no. a while, though. We've all been out. Yeah. Back and forth. Got yeah. the band back together. The band is back together. Band. I'm back, boys. There's going to be people in the comment section that are not okay with this. <laughs> oh, that's not, that's we not, want visitors You here. always got the naysayers. <laughs> that's funny. But, Martin, uh, you were gone. Then I went to the beach, which is, the, turns out, the itchiest place in the whole wide states of America. Itchy. I yeah. came back on fire. Hey. Well, Jeez. hey, it's a bunch of fleas in the sand. Yeah, now that may be true. You may have got some kind of... There was fleas. seaweed. I didn't even know they had ocean fleas. Yeah, like that lice. Was a shock it's almost like people told me uh, I had sea lice. That's what it is. Might no. still have it. I have hey, no idea. The ocean fleas, big. No, they weren't big. They're about the size of a quarter. Well, that's oh, that's the ones I'm... you dig up. He would well, know hey, that. That's one that come in with the tide. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Ocean, mm. ocean, what? Fleas. fleas. Sand fleas. Sand fleas. That's what sand you're ocean fleas. sand fleas. But I got back. And they're good bait. Is what I've been told. <laughs> that is. Why well, hey, I'm just. Going by what people are talking. Hey, fishing report. He reported. Hey, me and Phil do not go to the beach. Okay. I'm I'm with you now. That's hell on earth. Excuse I used my to, French. I used to be a beach guy until you were a beach bum. You the, look like it too. The, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, right, sir. Back, JD. I miss you, buddy. I miss you. Hey, I ain't right, been right. able to make fun of the hey, person right. sitting next to him for hey, a couple boy, of weeks. Hey. He ain't hit nobody in a month. Hey, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> it's all scoot over here. Got all this. Just pent up anger. <laughs> pent up in me. Oh, man. No, I was itchy, uh. though. I couldn't sleep. I was itching. So then I tried to wear clothes on the beach and still get in the water. And then that, you know. Yeah, that's not. Nah, that's that'll rub sensitive areas on your chest raw, son. Oh, I, I was going somewhere else. Wearing a shirt in the ocean. Oh, it's. I'm just, I don't think I'm for the beach anymore. He's off the beach, boy. Yep. He's a zoo man. All the, uh, we went to a zoo already. I finally had to call a timeout. We went and found All some rhinos. There was no rhino there. No, they, 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 the they, rhino hey, had died on us. There were more rhinos at the beach than anywhere we'd see. Uh-oh. They had five. Rhinos, boys, at the beach. Sea rhinos. <laughs> sea <laughs> Ocean rhinos. Shrinos. Those are walruses. That's right. Walruses, boys. But the, uh, 
we but we did we did do the thing. We went to the Bucky's. We went to the Bucky's uh, oh. on uh in uh, right past Mobile. All right. How much money did you spend? I I couldn't spend. There were two. I'm a I'm not Jay Stone by any means. I like people, but there were there were there were too many people. Too many. That's wild during the day. You got to hit that one at like 10:30, 11 o'clock at night. That was the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Mm-hmm. We we sat off. It's wild. To, we tried to get off the interstate to go to a gas station. 15 minutes. Yeah. And it's always that way. Yeah. That one is. During the day. No, no, I'm serious. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. The one we always went by that day in, in Texas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You couldn't get to it? Nope, we tried. You nope. could not get, get to, to it, it for all the cars trying to go into it. There was a line to go in the back. The parking lot was slam full. And, hey, this is not a small parking lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Huge. By any means, Okay. Oh, it was the craziest thing. They've ever. done it. Oh, hey. Congratulations oh, yeah. to them. My hat's off to them. Hey. They pulled oh, it off. Hey, you can buy, you can buy, I, I, I think you can find anything you want at Bucky's. <laughs> I bought three I'm bags sure. of beef jerky and ate them all on the beach. Yeah. Can you find beach. fried chicken chips? Because whoever <laughs> mailed these in today, we by finally the way, tried them. there's no note. You get a thumb No up? name. Is there a, a return up? address? No, it's just, it's straight. It's from the company. Hey, it, yeah. hey what do you get? This or this? No, it's from a warehouse, so they like ordered them off of Amazon. Yeah, a thumbs up. Oh, they're gonna get a thumbs up. I oh, got the oh, hot, these things hot here. Ones. Yeah. yeah, is it thumbs up? Uh, both of them. Oh, good grief! <laughs> you need hey. both of them. Don't put up hey, one of them. Put, put both up. of them. Hey, double thumber, boy. I don't know what. It tasted Real like a good. chicken wing out of a bag. Yeah, it was wonderful. Oh, it's fantastic. Chicken wings out of a bag, boy. Yeah. I did gain like six pounds at the beach, though. Oh, did you? Yeah, that was bad. That's what them sand fleas do for you. <laughs> Once you start itching, you just sit in the room and eat. So I can't get off the sand fleas. That's right. Ocean sand fleas, boys. Which beach y'all go to? Navarre. Navarre. Which used to, there was no one at Navarre. But now, they done run out of room down there. Yeah, and so now I felt like stone. I went down the beach and there's just humans everywhere. And I'm like, well, this is supposed to be vacation. Yeah. I did go fish off that pier. Did you catch any? No. Nothing. But I saw a dolphin. So fishing report is. Oh, don't fish off that pier. <laughs> it's a short report. Well, I bought a catfish rod and a bass jig, and I was like, we're just going to try something. No, that ain't going to work. And, you need a minner down there. Well, and that, all them dudes were looking at me. I was like, calm down, everybody. I know I'm not a place here, but I'm just I'm just seeing if I can do something. You should have put you a sand flea on it. <laughs> should have. Yeah. Just flying ripped. fish. Hey, 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 I'm telling you, sand flea or flying fish. But there was a big old turtle out there, which was cool. Oh. Sea turtle? Oh, a huge one. Oh, that's awesome. That's what happened to me in uh in Maui. Mm-hmm. Maui, Maui. Yeah, he come was... up right to me. Did, I could pet him. Did you ever finish Stranger Things? Mm-hmm. You been gone? Mm-hmm. So you got to the end of that. Yeah, we finished that. Yeah. That was weird. <laughs> weird. That was now, a... Talking about Maui Wowie made me think of That well, was a weird Maui, show, Maui, everybody. Oh, Argyle the Pizza Man. So that's why I was like, huh. Well, see, Stranger Things, it used to all be about fun in the 80s, and then it was like, a little bit scary. And then this season, they said, we're going to scare you and not let you sleep, and there's not going to be any fun. And Metallica. The, yeah. the, the end. Yeah, the Metallica, I think, was the fun part. Yeah, they were like, bah, nah, nah. and I was like, oh, that was cool. And then I was like, okay, now I'm scared to go to sleep. Si, you know what they're talking about? No. Si, you need to watch it. You would enjoy it. Metallica is a metal band, isn't it? That's right. Yeah, but the show is Stranger Things. All they do is make a bunch of racket. On that's guitar. That's exactly why they used them uh, because yeah. they needed to make yeah. racket. It's Hunter, heavy metal. They had to create a diversion. That's Hunter, why do you I never, watch it? I never was into heavy metal. It's From, a lot of street. I've never, I've never even heard, heard of it. it. Just it's all the weird sounds that you can get a guitar. How, make. how have you been alive the past six years and not heard of strange? It's a cultural phenomenon. Have you been to Walmart? <laughs> yeah. Well, everything in Walmart right now has Stranger Things on it. Like Stranger. Stranger, Stranger Things. Stranger Things. What is this, a new show? It is. It's an old show. It's, it's an old show. show, but they just released a oh, new season. And okay, another season of it. Yeah, if you have young children. They're coming don't... in with more Stranger stuff, right? Oh, it's strange. It's strange, all right. Hey. They keep you guessing. It'll make you want to live right. Hey, that's like PBS, what I watch all the time. <laughs> Nasai is on PBS. Hey, hey, Every time PBS, I go over there. Hey, double thumbs up on PBS, baby. <laughs> they got some good stuff. <laughs> Carter would agree. <laughs> oh no, hey, the Green Planet was excellent. And then Martin looked it up while we was on the podcast the other day and he said, You must have watched the Water Water Green Planet. Uh huh. Telling you. Because I did. Everything was, hey, we got all these wild flowers, okay, that grow underwater. Yeah. But then guess what they do? They tra- they uh, telescope up like a submarine when they need to uh, 
you know, bloom out. <laughs> when they have to bloom up, they, they telescope to the top of the water, bust out with a flower onto it. All the bees and the birds and all that junk happens with the pollination deal, and then they close up and go back on the water. Mm, there you go. And it's, hey, it's really beautiful on the water. I bet it Especially is. Especially when it's just solid flowers. We should go to a zoo together. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, Road trip. I like zoos. I think me and I do too. a lot of fun. No, no. Yeah, I, no, no, I like zoos. Martin, you drive us. The best part of that whole thing, water plant was, was the gigantic lily pad that was like 50 feet across. You could sit on that. Look, and it comes up. It comes up like a, uh, it reminds me of a, what's the sweet uh, uh, cereal? Honey Nut Cheerios. Well, Frosted no, no. Flakes. No, I don't. Rice it, it's, uh, Lucky Charm. God, Fruit Loops. Think the name of it. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cheerios. Huh? No, it's it's, it's like a, 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 a head of a grain, like uh, wheat. Raisin bread? No, but anyway, when it pops open, that's just the way that thing does. It was like this, and it was about, looked like it was about that big around. Shredded wheat. And it come up. Frosted wheat? No, not one shredded wheat. And then open up, and then it just starts. I think we named every cereal. Uh, no, it's sugar. I'm telling you, it's sweet. Okay. And it's like a grain, uh, 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 one grain of wheat, and it pops open in the middle. Count chocula? No. No. Well, let's pop uh, into our first break. We'll be back. <laughs> okay. Right after this. I got them stuck, baby. <laughs> hey, I think we ought to have, let's do a words. I got two of them. First one's headrest. What does that mean? Well, hey, you you fill it in the blank. Well, fill in the blank. If pillow? You, if you're going to rest your head on something, it might as well be a my pillow. <laughs> and right? if, hey, bingo. And if you're going to rest hey, your feet on something, it. it should be my slippers. And I'm wearing them uh, uh, right now. These are awesome, by the way. Uh, them look like my slippers. They're, well, they're the best slippers I've ever slippers. owned. They're best your slippers. slippers you ever well, had. they're my slippers, but they also are my slippers. Okay. But they could be your slippers. If you go to mypillow.com. Uh, <laughs> That's what you feel like you're walking on. Uh, the products on that website are fantastic. Look, all the MyPillow products from And Mike, Mike Lindell is a model American. Thank you. Anybody that ends up with his face on a pillow. I'm I mean, for them. That's man. goals, right? That's Amen. You want to get your face on a pillow one day, you do yourself a favor, shop at the MyPillow store. That's, That's what it. you got to do. Place. That's what. Try them out, including the sheets. Right now, MyPillow is having their biggest bed sheet sale ever. Wow. We're in the middle of summer. You've probably been sweating during the middle of the night. We're going into winter. You need to freshen up your sheets. The MyPillow Per Cow sheets are available in a variety of colors, and all sizes are on sale. Doesn't matter if you're twin, full, king, queen. They all on sale. For example, the queen size sheets are regularly priced $89.98, and right now they're only $39.98 with promo code DUCK at MyPillow.com slash DUCK. Order now because... That's they, like fifty. That's like that's sixty percent off. Boys. It's yeah, and yeah. they're they, selling wholesale. And they only have a limited supply. The My Pillow Per Cow sheets are breathable and have a cool, crisp feel. They have deep pockets to fit over any mattress, and they come with a ten-year warranty and a sixty-day money-back guarantee. You've got to check out the great specials from My Pillow. Go to mypillow.com/duck and use promo code Duck to get up to sixty-six percent off and get the My Pillow Per Cow sheets for as low as twenty-nine ninety-eight. Again, just go to MyPillow.com slash Duck and use promo code Duck or call 800-969-3137 and use promo code Duck. Order now because when they're gone, they're gone. Hey, they're gone. Duck, I got a fastball coming. They need to make an aqua zoo. I need to show you the oh, way. It's called an aquarium. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Sai, no, no. Sai, well, no. I need to take you to. I, I need aquarium. to take you to Shreveport. No, I ain't talking about with fish. I'm talking about with all the other wild creatures, like alligators, crocodiles, turtles. You just said an snakes. aqua zoo. Well, hey. <laughs> I don't think hey. we're rolling because he's laughing too hard, but no, that means no, we, we need would, to roll. No, we wasn't, it wasn't rolling. <laughs> make, it just hit me. They <laughs> need to make it. <laughs> it just no, hit said, me. It's called an aquarium. I think we're going to have to tell the people you said that. <laughs> well, hey. Oh. It's called an aquarium. That reminds me. 
<laughs> yeah, that's one of them. That's just one of them statements. Hey, well, one of them unfiltered statements. <laughs> unfiltered. Uh, unfiltered. I need to make an aqua. Zoo. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just talking about. Well, but you said nobody's fish. ever thought of that. <laughs> yeah, but you said fish. Uh, Wait till you hear about it. New Orleans. Hey, I want all of you. You can walk under want, the water. Yeah, I want hippos and alligators <laughs> and, <laughs> and, no, what, and big Tell me, tell me what you want to call this. What is it called? The aqua. An aqua zoo. <laughs> that's aqua what he said zoo. in the break. <laughs> An aqua zoo. Yeah, an, an aqua zoo. Aqua zoo. Otherwise, that, as hey, Martin pointed out, what's that called, an Martin? Aquarium. But an hey, aquarium. Yeah, but, aquarium, <laughs> but an aquarium just got fish. I want everything. No, aquariums got everything. They got like penguins and like they got all kinds of stuff in them deals. So uh, you the aquarium about, in your house probably just got fish in it. Well, I'm just saying, most <laughs> most aquarium are, just, are fish. I mean, but I want all the wild. But if you get an wildlife. aqua zoo. Yeah. Aqua mm. zoo is something a little different. Yeah, I don't, and especially the big old, big old, big old. Uh, what what's the snakes that crush everything? Roll up and crush them. Boa constrictors. Yeah, boa constrictors and uh, that anaconda. The anaconda. Oh yeah, that's one I was talking about. Big anaconda. Yeah, <laughs> an aqua zoo. Oh, they, hey, they were going to be rich. You wouldn't, cold. you wouldn't go look at no anaconda if your life depended on it. You'd I, be high stepping yeah, out of there. I know. I don't care if there was a piece of glass in between you and him. I wouldn't go there. Would you? No. Go to, would you well, go to the Monroe Zoo? They got well, snake a snake well, house. No, I don't see. How, no, I don't go to snake house. Let's go. No, I. I hey, when we yes. go to South Louisiana, you always pass them little joints that's got all the snakes. No, I ain't going there. All that. I ain't going there. Plus, they've caused the problem because right now down there in the Everglades, they got uh, all the wildlife people are trying to chase down all these anacondas and all these these. Uh, Pythons. Pythons. We got anacondas in America. Oh no! Oh hey, that is going rampant. <laughs> this, we have an infestation. No, yeah. This would be yes. <laughs> I'm serious. The Uncle wildlife si people have got people that hey, they they uh got patrols down there when they're in the breeding season. Giant anacondas overrun the Everglades. Hey, oh, yeah, they there. Yeah, they overrun it because if what they buy, they buy one of them little bitty ones at that snake place on the side of the road. You can buy an anaconda on the side of a road. Yes, and then guess what happens? America's awesome, hey, but sometimes they we do feed them rats and all this. Well, they start to grow. They like babies. Okay, hey, they come out babies, but then they start growing and become adults. Well, guess what they do when they get big? Eat they go people. throw them away. You don't want out one in the wild. That's a and they go out live you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> What's and the if lifespan? They, if you out there fishing, they may eat. They get old. I know they get older, and you want to fool with. Oh, them. what are you doing? About? And get big too. Mm. Mm -hmm. I always think mm -hmm. what to a Treasure Island. What the movie where the the two boys go checking it out, and the anaconda gets one of them, <laughs> and the other one has to chop him off of him with a, a machete. No. Yeah. Are you talking about Treasure the movie Island. that came out in 1950? Oh, yeah. Long time ago. <laughs> he's Long scarred for life. Why do you think he yeah. hates yeah. snakes? He That's played right. He played a detective on uh, Jack Lord's uh, 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 book, him, Dano. What? So I've heard that, <laughs> Si, you've told me for years how afraid you are of snakes, but oh. you told me that Martin chased you around with a snake. He did. Time, and you almost killed oh, him. Oh, no, and I had a piece of metal in my hand, no. and then he backed off. Yeah, you know what that piece of metal was? What? A shotgun. Yeah, and I that's not him, even a joke. Bum, yeah. bum, and I said, Martin, I, it wasn't I said, loaded. I said, don't. But he had a shell in his hand. Yeah, I had a shell in my hand. I said, hey, if you make me load this, I'm fixing to shoot you and the snake. I said, look, man, he ain't gonna hurt you. And I said, I found a little bitty one yeah. on my on my porch the other morning. I sat there and played with him for about twenty minutes. He what is wrong with you? Well, it was an earth snake, man. He's just chilling. He was earth, out there trying to catch him some bugs. But man. how do you know? And, uh, you got to oh, know. Hey, before you play with him, you better know. You got to yeah, know. Now, I made that mistake hey, one time. he's a biologist, okay? Hey, he studies yeah. things like that. I made that mistake once. Yeah. I, I've been much more careful yeah. since I found myself holding a pygmy rattlesnake and didn't know what to do Ooh. then. Oh, oh, that reminds me. Me and I, Phil dug a, a little tunnel out of, out of our shed. Of course you did. Oh, no. We, yeah. we, uh, Where were you going? Uh, we were just hiding from people. Okay? Running shine. How old what? were you? Huh? How old were you? 60. No, no, no. <laughs> no, this was what he was like 10 and I was 8. Oh, I love it. Okay. We, the old mama got mad and was fixing whoopers or something. So we said, hey, yo, take off. So we run to the shed, go in it, open the trap door, and Phil jumps in with just his head. I was already on top of him trying to go in it, and he said, listen, listen. And I didn't hear nothing. He said, shh. 
He said, what's that tick, 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 tick? And I said, I don't hear it. He said, yeah, it is. And then he looked to the right there, and it was one of them pygmy rattlers like he was talking about. And he was on the, on the mm-hmm. uh, you table get? four right above the tunnel. And, you know, yeah. Phil's head was like this. You know, when he turned around, his eye to eye. Yeah. I jumped off a tractor to catch that one. <laughs> I did. I, I bailed off of it. I, I saw know. him going across bad there. Bad I was like, move. oh, man, that's a cool snake. And yeah. I jumped off and had him in my hand. And I was like, oh, nope, he ain't cool. You had a mm. great weapon, a tractor. Yeah, but I was just sitting there holding him like this. He's cool. It's hard to kill I put one. him in my ice chest on a tractor. I, it's hard to kill one with a tractor, <laughs> especially when you got the box blade on the back. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, yeah. Just, yeah. Hey, so I, I got a question. All the times that y'all are cleaning out duck blinds and doing things like that, and you're around all these snakes. You may want to ask somebody that actually does that. Yep, not me. <laughs> well, I mean, but Si, you know. Oh, you no, know no, the no, guys no, no, look. Has well, anybody ever been bit by a no, snake? No, no. Like Phil. Has no, no. Phil not been bit? I've seen so many times Phil Robertson in front of me put his foot down, okay, and then all you see right beside it is a white spot. Hey. I mean, it's a big oh. black coils and then a white spot right in the middle of it. And Phil's already moved and it closes. Oh, Billy the Exterminator and friend got them a mouthful of it whenever oh, they come down. I saw home. that no, 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 episode. No. Mm-hmm. That's the only one that usually normally in their show It's about, okay, there's no thing, nothing was harmed in this. We took them and released them in the woods somewhere else. <laughs> this one was mission aborted. <laughs> That's true. That's true, Okay, hi, because look, they run into purple tail walls, which one of the guys was allergic to him. He got Ooh. stung like eight or ten times. And in the like, face. Yeah, in the face and come out looking like the elephant man. Dang. I'm serious. Yeah, I had to rush him. They had to rush him to the hospital because he was allergic to it. Where me and Phil was sitting on the four wheel yeah. and just died. No, no, yeah, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> they was giving what was funny about it. They was giving a play by play for it. Yeah, because they know what's in oh, there. Oh no, yeah, because Phil said they're right now. They're walking where we parked the boat, and there was a yell. And Phil said they just run up on one of them big congos, <laughs> and he's probably slithered under the uh, big uh, uh, big log tree, log yeah. that the blinds on. Yeah. Then he said, he said, I sure hope when they're going, and it sounds like they're going in the kitchen now. That's where we get into it. You know, he said, it sounds like they're going in the kitchen area. And he said, boy, I sure hope they don't hit, it, hit a two before they scout one of them big old purple tail wasp nests on it. About that time, it was, ah! and everybody come running out and the time, ah, you, 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 you. That's a true statement. Hey, Phil yeah. said, bad move. <laughs> Phil said, yep. They hit one of them. Yeah, Phil so, said. So that, they aborted oh, right they, then. They aborted That's the over. mission. Because yeah, Phil said, boys. hey, wait a minute. This is only the first blind. I got 30 more you need to go do. Yeah, old boy's head got the size of size T-jug there. No, no, I'm serious. And, hey, he looked like the elephant man. That ain't no joke. It looked rough. He was in but, pain. But oh, it was no. so yeah, They took him to the hospital? Yeah. It was oh, so yeah, funny because took- I was sitting there with Phil. He said, bad move. <laughs> he, said, he, said, bad move. He, said, he said, now they're distracted by the snakes. He said, one of them purple tail walls going to get them here in a minute. And show enough. He hadn't said it. He hadn't said it. And then there was a bunch of yelling and screaming, and everybody come running out of the blind, you know, swatting at everything around them. You know? Yeah. Oh, it was oh. funny. I oh, sat right there them with up. him. It was good. Yeah. They yeah. ate him up. Yeah. You know, Phil, got... Phil said, hey, hey, come back. I got 30 more. Yeah. You know, he said, no, mission aborted. We're gone. And we ain't calling you. Mm. So, I found me a good one the other day. That wasp nest. That was a good one. Up inside my air conditioning unit. What? Oh, mm-hmm. speaking of that and yeah. snakes. What? In the old house I used to live in for, I got these, uh, you know, Clayton homes. Mm-hmm. I come in one day, turn on air conditioning. It's as hot as I'll get out sometime. And the first thing I did when I turned on, I said, whoa, snake. I could smell him, you know. Smell him? Yeah. Yeah. Because they, they got an odor about them. Okay. But anyway, poison mus- especially. Yo, know, I said, goodness, snake, yo. Know. <laughs> I looking around on the board, yo, know, and that, that night I had nightmares. I wouldn't get out of bed because the lights were out. No, no, I'm serious. So, uh, hey. Well, the, why were the lights out? The air conditioning. Because he was out. sleeping. Sleeping. Oh. So <laughs> the look, lights were off. Hey, hey. It's so bad. stop eating the bed that night. No, no, look. That's about truth. Okay, I'm serious. Because, hey, I wouldn't get up because I had nightmares about I'm going to just get the snake bit. So, look, the air conditioner goes out. I call a guy. Him and his son come up there, Okay. So we go out, pull the air conditioner out of, out of the holder, okay, and carry it to the truck, all three of us, you know. So we go, go back in the house. <laughs> okay, look, his son goes out to get something, okay, and he says, hey, y'all need to come here and look at what I just killed. 
So we go back. He's got a big rattlesnake in the pickup truck bed that he's beat to death with a hammer. Okay, big as my arm and about four foot long. Okay, and had about ten rattles on it. And just beat so it. So I'm looking. Hammer. I'm I, I'm looking, and I guarantee you, I was white as a sheet. Okay, because they dead. said, Are "You all right?" And I said, "No, not really." I said, "I just had that stupid thing in my hand." And that was Sai's first visit with a heart doctor. Yo, and I said, <laughs> "I said, and that sucker was in the air conditioner." Well, yeah, he was hot. Yeah, but here's the thing. He's trying no, to no. cool off. No, no. Here's the thing. Makes you, sense. You blame him? Here's the thing. What? That air conditioning unit was like five feet off the ground in a window. Oh, well, yeah. How did the sucker get into it? He come inside with you first. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. That night you was asleep, he was up under your bed. No. <laughs> well, well, now may, I'm not going to sleep. He may have been, but I'm telling you, hey, you, you ain't just never, don't ever know. Hey, look! No, them, them hey, suckers look. got in an airplane. You ain't never seen that movie. They can get anywhere. Snake. Well, yeah, they were snake in an airplane. Yeah, crap. Hey, they can get I, anywhere. Look, I already have bad nightmares in my house. Okay, no, this is a true story. In a stupid plane. This well, is good. A true Let's story. talk about it when we get back from our next <laughs> break. I can't we'll wait. Right break. Break. Martin, Martin, we got a break. break. It's hot. It's been. I real. feel like an old man every day. I wake up and like, is it gonna rain? <laughs> That's all I'm worried about. Is it going to rain? Especially if you got to do anything outside. Nah, I'm over that. Right. Do that at night. Right. <laughs> Get over it, boy. Do that mess hey, at night. Them why, fish, why them do fish you say, bite at night, too. Why do you say you're on your way to 400 pounds? Because people, people keep sending chicken skins. And uh, the girl that I thought we, you were maybe adding some weight. You know, sympathy weight with your wife. No, uh, uh-uh, no, 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 no. I that. have, I have successfully avoided that so okay. far, according to the scale. Yeah, I have. Uh, I'm on a diet. I gained a lot of weight when my wife got pregnant. And it would be easy to do, but I'm just like, no, get away from me. I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that mess. Like, but then, but then you'll eat it right here. Well, I had to try that. that I ain't good. never, I ain't never had chicken skins, fried chicken skins. But That's I'm great. a fan. I, I'm, I will eat them again. I can assure you. We do have some cookies in my office too from. Uh, Cookies. Yeah, young lady's email I read last week while you were out said if you read my email, I'll send y'all my famous cookies. Well, they're, wow. They're in my office. Let's go check them out. Si. Well, I well, knew I left the email in good hands. Yeah. I went through and read like the lighthearted ones. I know you like to go through and find some serious ones. Those but heavy I, ones. I, I stayed tough. pretty. I stayed pretty. Yeah, I read about 150 of them this morning catching up. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Our fans are great. Well, we got they, great are, fans. they are good people. I Absolutely. Heard, good, good fans. I Y'all's had, parking lot was full when I got here, too. It's been that way for like here the at, past month. Here at Duck, come on. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you, there's a, a, a baseball tournament. Yeah, there's like World Series baseball oh, yeah. tournament in town or we, something. We had, about, we had about 40 people come through Sai's house um, earlier in the week. Really? Yeah. He said, just bring them all in at the same time. So. That's helpful. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. Si, you're yeah. incredible. And I was playing like I was asleep. <laughs> if they come to my house right now, they're going to get put to work sanding boards and right. and, hey. and putting caulk around That's trim. That's what you do. Take them over and tell them, all right, boys. Here's the yeah. deal. Hey, grab that sander over and let's go, boys. Get yeah, grab that piece yeah. of sandpaper. We got yeah. some work to do, son. Yeah, we're going to work. It'd be like showing up down at Phil's. So, all right, what's up? All right, yeah. grab, grab a hand over Phil's here. Phil's famous right, dude. Tell him, hey, come on, go with me. It's going to take about 15 minutes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then you stay over all day long. You get to leave when it's dark. The one question you don't ask, yeah. do I need boots? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Because he's going to say no. Yeah, no, you don't need them. And you need them. And you need them. Every time. Yeah, waterproof boots. Yeah, if you wear tennis shoes, just plan on throwing them away. Go ahead and get on. Go ahead and get online and order your new pair. Maybe they'll be there by the time you get home. But the food's good. Used to be. Oh! Oh! Uh-oh. Shots fired! Oh, well, yeah. they, they old, and it's just them two oh, down no. there, so they don't cook much anymore. Oh, it's still good. Oh, it's still yeah, good. It's still, it's still good. good. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's still good. <laughs> they just don't do it like they yeah. used to. Stone cooked it now. Oh, yeah. They yeah used yeah. to. They cook lunch for us every day. That's right. That's so, right. look, let me tell y'all my snake story. Uh-oh. I was at a buddy's hunting camp. No, you weren't. Yes. And... <laughs> Were you invited back? No. Hush. I'm just John asking because I feel like you should have been. Right, what kind of you're snake? a great time. No, no. What kind of snake? We were, something was in the toilet, and we didn't know what it was. It was in the toilet, and it could, you, you could see just something. And it was cooled coming up? up. Coming up One in the toilet. Things. So, look, we got a broom and a rope and a piece of a string. Interesting tied it, tactic. And when, the, when that thing came back out again, 
we snagged it and pulled it up, and it was about a seven foot snake, black snake. I guess it came up from the chicken, chicken pond. Yeah, pulled it out of the toilet. Oh yeah. Woo! You talking about bad dreams? Hey, I would never go to the bathroom again. Not well. You have a bidet. You're used to it. <laughs> <laughs> I say, I tell you one thing. No. They didn't have one. You fell beat. into that. That's a true story, though. I'm, I vote for him. Snake, snake, <laughs> snake's in a toilet. For snake, get snake. everywhere. Oh yeah, they can get anywhere. I, why are we talking about snakes again? I uh, love. I wanted to tell my I story. I hate them. <laughs> Phil said, "I just wanted to tell." I like the story, but now, <laughs> now I'm not going to be able to go to the bathroom without doing a four point inspection. Oh, I tell you another one, Jordan Summit. <laughs> Our our friendly producer sent me a picture the other day of a coral snake. I ain't Ooh. seen one of them in a hot minute. At Chioka? Me. At his house. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Really? <laughs> yeah. Jay slumming it. That's rare. Yeah. You don't see them much. No, he's cool. I no, he's not. Bitty, little old bitty thing. Yeah, he wasn't very big. Very, 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 them are, very venomous. They, ooh, there's the right word. Yep. Big time. Yep. Yep. Yeah, but you got to have a series of unfortunate events happen for yeah. one of them. He's got to get you like in very little. Yeah. Oh, they're too small. And he got a rear fang, so he got to yeah. get all the way. Yeah. It's, it's in the back. But now, if he gets you. Hey, it's bad news. You're in trouble. Yeah, it's he, bad. If he gets you. What is it you, about? Red on black or something like that? Red, red on, on black. Hey, Jack. Red on black, friend of Jack. Red on yellow, kill a fella. Yeah, <sighs> red on yellow. Wet, red on yellow, kill a fella. I bet we just take them Size, off. Size, you're going to mix all that up, uh, aren't you? No. I'm going <laughs> to blow his head off. I ain't worried about what color it is. Red on, boom. That's it. Hey, I don't worry about what color it is. I <laughs> ain't saying that saying. He just no. taking no, he, care no, of it. No, he's going to try to say it, and Any then he's going to go ahead and shoot. Is on his belly, no. That's in Genesis. It's a bad deal. That's yeah. Old Testament, yeah. side. We living in that New Testament <laughs> time, son. Hey, hey, I still hey. treat him like Old Testament. That's right. Hey, that's that's why I, you got to go I back. that head off. Eye for an eye, boys. That's Ten right. Commandment style. Uh, <laughs> You ain't got to worry about you putting one one on those stuff. On that one, I'm I'm guilty. He said guilty. Guilty of thou shalt not kill. (laughs) Well, you know, Cy was already nervous when we went to the snake rodeo. He had an event at the snake rodeo he was doing. Oh, I had it written in the contract. Yeah, he said I'll kill anybody that brings a snake. I have the right to kill you if you come up and play with a snake. But the first That was in the contract? Yes. Cy had the right to murder. Oh, no, no. It was written in in the contract. contract. Because the guy that was running it, gonna hold up. he said, hey, Philip, do we really need to do this? And he said, hey, the man said put it in there because, hey, he wants to make sure you understand. I will blow your head <laughs> off if you fool with the snake around Has anybody me. ever got you, like, put a rubber snake in your glove box or your console hey, or your truck? Or You're risking getting killed if you do it. Okay, because I'm serious. There ain't no thought process that's involved in this. I'm scared of snakes. Like if somebody scared slid out there right now and put one in his console, oh, hey. the next time he went, <laughs> oh, I, drive know, off the road. That Ford, want, that new Ford would have a sunroof so fast it'd make your head spin. Oh no, hey, you don't. Oh, it's got do one. He's got a sunroof. <laughs> you don't want to do it. I'm S- telling you. Oh, so I'm not gonna do it. You'll so. either get me killed or get someone killed. <laughs> it's just a panic attack. So, yeah. so when we're when we're pulling up, there's a there is an ambulance with lights on passing us up and so i said good grief what happened the guy said well him and his buddy were down there and he thought it was a non-poisonous snake and he threw it to his friend what yeah oh, no jumped in grabbed it jumped in the in the lake grabbed it true and threw it on his friend it bit his friend yeah and it wasn't uh yeah, it was a congo yeah which is a cotton mouth play which is games venom, which is venomous do not play games with snakes Ooh. you idiot yeah, there you go, John David. Hey, I'm I'm on side side 100 percent on. I'm size. off the snakes now. I can't stand them. Hmm. Let's get on the spiders. No, <laughs> I don't like them either. I don't like spiders and snakes. I don't and care about. It. I don't care for spiders. Love me. Well, they got some bad. They got some bad ones of them too. Well, they hide, man. They lurking. Yeah, they always lurking. Yeah. Snake kind of right out there in front of you. Which uh, no, he, he's pretty slick. Too, he though, just sometimes. told you there was one in his toilet. Well, well, that's true. Take and that for what it is. That's the JD. true story. I'm yeah. telling They're you. Everywhere. He's been running around with this man so long. I don't know what's fact and what's fiction. Oh, I knew what it was <laughs> when he said seven foot. Because I've been chased with my uncle when he had found one in the hen house full of eggs. Yeah. And then, hey, then the whip come out. Okay. 
Like Pop his, almond candy. Hey, I'll see Pop, Pop his head off, and here comes the egg. Yeah. Oh, Let's leave that alone. <laughs> Take a break. Yeah, we'll be back. We're we we we, we going we going down another bad road. <laughs> right, hey. Oh, it ain't a bad road. It was fun. Do you sleep with the light on? But huh? Oh no no. Yeah, because something might get him. No no. My wife Wait, has got no. all of these. He's uh, got a nightlight. No no. Always. Oh yeah. No no. Hey, no. hey he yeah. won't go to sleep without a light hey, on. No no. My wife, they're fragrance things that you plug into the wall. Yeah, and a nightlight. Well, and it's a light, but it's a, it's a it's nice a, aroma. It's a Glade plug-in. I know yeah. what it is. Yeah, okay. But oh, it, no. it's look. a nightlight. No, no. Oh, yeah, and look, she's got them all over the house. You okay. think? She yeah. lives with yeah. you. No, no, she's got them all over the house. Okay, now I don't mind getting up at night. Okay, because I can actually see. So you you're, yeah. you just go to bed with the lights on? Yeah. Now he can sleep now. Well, I've seen you be passed out somewhere in this office oh, just hey, with look, the lights. I can sleep anywhere. You you learn that when you're in the military. But no, forget that. Learn, 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 get, 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 go back. Are you scared of the dark? Huh? Yeah. I've always been scared <laughs> of the dark. Are you really? No, no. I'm serious. I've always been scared of the dark. I told you. Dark. Really? I've got a vivid imagination. Yeah. Okay? Except, so, look. Really? Uh-oh. There's it's too many lights light. in here. I was going to see if I could turn them all off. You're no, scared no. of the dark? Yeah. Really? Forever since you were a kid? No, it's all in your mind. Yeah, it's all in your mind. Well, no. But His hey, mind. But, but hey. You shouldn't watch I've Stranger Things. a very things. scary mind. Okay? Yeah, I take back what I said about Stranger Things. That's not for you, dog. Uh, Sigh. No. Yeah. Oh, no. No, I wouldn't, you know, because I. No, Vecna kind of looked like Sigh. I never see. I never have seen the attraction to all these horror movies. Me either. I, I won't watch them. No scary movies. Well, that's you know, a, I, like what, uh, Halloween 13 or whatever? Now, see, I don't like that. And Halloween I don't like 13, <laughs> baby! Yeah. Coming soon to Box a theater. Box office, October yeah. hit. Oh. I don't on, like any of them on the that side in, involve like, any spooky little kids or nothing like that. You know, like little girls in white dresses. The ring? Like, yeah, no, I'm out on that. No, no. But, Crawling after you at the TV? <laughs> but like, so I could not wow. burn it out of his mind. No, no, like, I never no. knew you were scared of the dark. Oh, no, no, no. That's what's yeah. up. No, no. I'm only scared of the dark, and I ain't scared of the dark. It's what's in the dark. Oh, no. Like, when I go to Wyoming, I get I don't like being in the pitch black dark because they got them big cats up there. That bothers me. Oh, no, 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 like no. Not only that, they got them big cats and them big old rattlesnakes. Up there. Mm. Well, I ain't worried about him. Oh, I'm worried about oh, that Oh, I'm cat. worried about both of them. Me and that cat is one yeah. that ain't, we ain't jihawing, but. There's a white. Cy Robertson, America's favorite uncle, is scared oh, of the no, dark. Oh, no, no, I don't like dark. <laughs> Okay, I always That's like, biblical. Hey, no, no, I like light. <laughs> this is funny, but whenever we go and stay somewhere at a hotel, of course, we get separate rooms because, you know, if I don't fall asleep before Cy, si, I will not go to sleep. Yeah, you're done. But, hey, every time I check his room, I'm like, let me make sure the temperature is right. He's got an extra blanket. He's got his ice. He's got his tea. He's good to go. Cy, si, what do you want me to do? I'll leave that light on over there. Oh, no. You just li- like the like the... Like a lamp oh, no, or like no. the light? Like a like no. a light somewhere, like hey, a bathroom, bathroom light. Some light kind of, is always yeah. on when I'm in the motel. Oh, now, yeah. if I'm in a hotel, I do leave like the bathroom light on, on and close the door so the light will come out from under. Because I'm in an unfamiliar place. And if, I know, need, if I need to pee, I ain't trying to break my toe. No, no. I got yeah, you a story. I don't want to thump my toe and then be howling like a wolf. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got okay. you one. What? I, I, yeah, that's a good idea. That oh, happened yeah. to you? Oh, oh, worse. Worse than you can imagine. You, Sam, worse than Sam Fleas? You cannot imagine the panic and sheer terror that happened to me. It was a weird hotel. And the door to the outside and the door to the bathroom were like right beside each other because it was kind of in a corner. Oh no, you peed in the hall. Or did no? But I almost oh. had to. <laughs> I, I wake up. I have pulled that stunt. <laughs> I woke up in the middle of the night, three a.m. or something like that. I heard a song. I woke up in the middle. I of walk. The night. You know, it's dark. I got, you know, it's sleep in my dirty, eyes. Boys. I go in the bathroom. The door closes behind me. I look around, and I'm just looking at some elevators in the hallway. And I I was only in my underwear, so I didn't, have, skivvies. I didn't have my key with me. That's right. No key. And I always wondered what that phone was right beside the elevators for, and I found out that night. So I go over there, and I'm like, there's people. I go hide behind a wall because I'm, just, I'm basically naked, and I'm just hiding behind, like, a plant. And I was just sheer panicked. So it's a good idea to leave a light on in a bathroom in a hotel. It is. Because I had to call a guy and say, hey, man, 
I'm about to pee my pants, yeah. first off, and I'm basically naked in your hallway That's on right. the eighth floor. I locked, locked myself out of my room. And then, and then he had the nerve. He came up there and he goes, do you have any ID on you? And I was like, I'm in my underwear. And I said, if you open the door, I'll get you one. And so I had to go in my room, come back, like, here's, here's my ID. Thank you. Bye-bye. And I left the light on from then on. Hey, that's the oldest trick in the book. Though. You go walk in the hotel in your drawers and start <laughs> Let me get in this into room. people's rooms. I mean, God, <laughs> Speaking of that. You got I, that. <laughs> hold on. You have a related no, story? No. Yes. That happened just this morning. I had to go to the hospital this morning. What? Yeah. So I had to, I had to do an x-ray today. Okay. You know? So when I get through, okay, they take, you know, x-ray. And I leave. I'm walking to my truck. Security guys are out in the parking lot. Uh oh, they think you're stealing something. No, no. Look at so you. So when I walk up and hit the button on my truck to unlock it, you know, I'm getting in. He said, uh, by the way, sir, have you seen anyone walking in a gown out here today? So they had lost somebody, okay? Someone had got away from them in a gown, and they're looking for it in Glenwood. <laughs> <laughs> I feel no. bad. So no, no. So I said, no, I ain't seen nobody. I just come out of the hospital myself, you know, but I ain't in no robe, you know, no gown. What'd you do with the gown? Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I just I, thought that was funny. You know, it, I'll we'll tell you what, about that. it was somebody on their fourth day in the COVID ward that felt better like I did and said, I'm out, boys. <laughs> and they were trying to so, find hey, me. Mm. I almost ran. You ain't got your clothes. I'm going look in there. No, nope, I ain't no clothes. Well, I'll just go out in my gown then. Mm. I'm out I here. don't like hospitals, si. sir. So there's either. somebody walking around West Monroe no, no. in a hospital gown at this no. very moment? No, no. It may be. I don't know if they found him or not. They didn't find him when I was leaving because I was watching. I figured I might run over him when I you know, come out of the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> so I was watching, you know. Anesthesia does weird stuff. Oh, no. Hey. <laughs> Maybe yeah. they just went to Chick-fil-A to get lunch. Well, well yeah. yeah. They're headed hey, back. Grab some lunch. I didn't think of that. I should have looked. I should have looked when I went by. <laughs> He may have been standing in line. <laughs> in his gown. Well, yeah. What's the dude behind the third car doing? <laughs> He's in line. He wants the chicken filet. Where's he going to put it? <laughs> Under his skirt. <laughs> <laughs> and them gowns ain't got no I'm back hey, either, so you don't want to get in line behind them. Hey, hey, uh, hey put, it on my, put it on my bill. I'm always through here anyway. I just said he wanted the chicken filet. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you know, hey. Yeah. That's God's chicken. <laughs> that's the Lord chicken fillet or something like that. Oh, my goodness gracious. That's amazing. So that's a true story? <laughs> Missing that, person at Glenwood. That boy. actually well, happened. And they're asking Sa. Si. We're praying for you. Sir, yes, can you hey, tell us something? If you're still wandering around out there, <laughs> and listen the, to our podcast. May security, you know, may they find you. If he makes it to the time this podcast airs, that sucker is evasive. That's right. <laughs> I'll give him that. So. Evasive yeah. maneuvers, baby. Like, it's, it's hot. He's like, I didn't even know they were looking for me until I watched the podcast. That's right. Hey, I, mean, I, I figured I'd come back. Yeah. I, didn't even, I didn't even realize it. Can I know, check back in? I said, can I, hey, can I eat my Chick-fil-A anyway? Oh, okay. Lord. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. Oh. Uncle Si is on the case, and he's scared of the dark. You better find him in the daylight. Because you ain't going to find him at night. Oh, no, you don't want to do And look. Private investigator. Yeah, you don't want to be coming up on me at night. No. In the dark. No, because you told me about some of the guys that in the middle of the night they're driving bikes down the road, cutting across in front oh, of no, you. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, you don't want to be out in the wee hours of the morning. No. In West Monroe or south, going south, you know. Or north or west well, no, or no, east. No, 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 I'm telling you, I've seen some strange things, okay, at night. When I'm getting up to go duck hunting at 4.30 a.m. in the morning. Si. <laughs> I need you, Si. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're running up that hill. Uh. <laughs> if Si lifts out that chair right now, it's going to be wild. <laughs> Your boy is gone if that happens. <laughs> no, you better, no, you better turn that music on, son. Save him. That's no, his no, no. job. Yeah. I can't even begin to express how glad I am you're back, Johnny D, because I was Yay. Getting, me in that inbox along with a day job. That that's hard to keep up with. It I is ain't hard. even kidding. But you gotta do it while you're on the toilet. But um if you, I, if you, I, I got questions for you, sir. What? Why didn't you just go in a row? You'd like read ten, skip fifteen, read ten. I just read the comment. I read the subject line that interested me. Oh like the ones that said, 
This is for Martin. I read all those. <laughs> those are always fun. <laughs> I try and uh, forward you those. Okay, I have yeah. one, though, I definitely want to read, because I missed a couple episodes, and yeah. I I drive five minutes. I'm not a podcast guy, but I'm on one. Uh, advice for controlling future mother-in-law. I didn't start that because I needed any advice. My mother-in-laws are great, by the way. Yeah, mine too. Mine too. Uh, we're just going to cover all our bases here. <laughs> Ain't no way my mother-in-law listens to this, though, so we're good. Uh, Robert. <laughs> I might have just got you in trouble, Robert from Lima, Ohio, but Bobby. Robert from, Bobby from Lima, Ohio emails in. Bob. He needs some advice about his future mother-in-law. Him and his girlfriend been together over three years, recently got engaged at Disney World. That's big time. Uh, they're both towards the end of college, about to uh, transition the next phase of life, but her mother is controlling everything. For instance, she has decided when we are to get married, when we're supposed to have kids, and she has even given me conditions on moving out of my house by myself. Well, I'm confused about that. It wasn't as bad as early in the relationship, but now that we're entering a new stage of life, she is starting to dictate me as well. Mm. <laughs> See why I started? <laughs> but, anyways, there's some more stuff here. Um, yeah, there's a bunch. Anyways, I'm looking for some way to approach this situation to get it resolved. Hey, there ain't no resolving to it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here's the deal. If you go right, marry the woman, okay, you marry the woman and then you put up with the mother in law. Uh oh. That's just part of it. What okay. Was, what was our boy's name from uh, Dodgeball? Pappy. Pappy O. Pappy O. Daniels. Pappy O. Daniels. You can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Yeah. I, I, my advice to him is to duck, dive, dip, dodge. <laughs> duck, dive, dip, dodge, duck, and dive. Yeah. <laughs> or something like that. Five D's of dodgeball. Yeah. Um, dodge. Well, I don't. Eh. It's hard, man. It's a no. tough one. Yeah. Treat your mother-in-law like a queen and you won't have no problem. That's also true. Hey. Yeah. Go give her a hug every time you see her. That's what I do. I'm just like, hey, good to see you. And then buy her some chicken skin. The Bible says, kill them with kindness. That's all. Does the Bible say that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In doing so, you pour heaping coals on their head. That's right. There it is. That's part of that. Um, Yeah. But I mean, I don't think there's a problem with saying, like, hey, we're getting married. This is our wedding. Like, if she's saying, like, when the wedding is, like, you got to, you and your. You may have to be firm and put your foot down. And look, here's this is you're going to establish a new relationship with your soon to be mother in law. Yeah. And so it's not the same relationship. It's going to be a new one. So you need to address that with her. You need to set some good boundaries, some reasonable things, you know, and just communicate with with his people. And why is that, Phil? What? Why does that need to happen? Establish goals. What are you supposed to do? No, I, just thought, I was nervous. giving you a chance for your line, Phil. Your line well, because that you what stole, is known Phil. is manageable. Manageable. There you go. Yeah, no, but hey, I'm gonna put it up on out. a T anymore for you. Well, hey, and, and I thought you had something for me. I was nervous too. Well, because you, know, you got to remember, this is your mother-in-law's probably baby girl, or you know, she's scared. Yeah, your mo- the mother-in-law is just scared, and so she's. I think a lot of mothers want to fix everything yeah. for their for their babies. They become controlling in an effort to try and make things Easy. good or safe or whatever. She thinks she's helping out. Yeah. And, and so you got to remember that, too. She ain't trying to be rude. Why do you have a knife out, sir? Get him, Si. Hey, no, I ain't no sticky. <laughs> Again. I, no I appreciate that. I but, I mean, I, your mother-in-law probably thinks she's helping out just – you just gotta say, "Hey, look, we got this," and yeah. I think everything will probably work out. And let her be involved. Martin's nervous to answer this. Let, no, yeah. I'm just glad I, think, I don't have it. I think he's hey. got a sign he's fixing to hold up. No. Love conquers everything. Now there you go. Well, when you marry somebody, you marry their whole family. family. Yeah. And so start that new relationship. Yeah, Talk to her. Let her know your intentions. And I think if you guys will have a relationship, not through your wife, but just you and the mother-in-law, have a relationship where you can talk. Yeah, be respectful. Things are going to be a lot better. Be respectful. Bring it up. That's fine. You put them all out there on the table, but you can do so I with like that. Do your cards. You face can do up. so with gentleness, love, and respect. Yeah. Hey, yeah. do your cards face up, and then go from there. Because so. what is known is manageable. Is manageable. Is. What else you got, Sean? Oh, did you do the one that subject is God? I don't think so. It's pretty heavy, and that so wouldn't sound like something. I'd we're gonna probably answer wouldn't it do it. Hey, JD and the boys. I have a question. I was brought up Roman Catholic, I believe in God and church, etc. 
Is there any difference in my religion and the way you practice there in Louisiana? I mean, you all, you and I believe in God, but does me being Catholic make us different in our beliefs in the way we practice our religion? Either way, God bless you. Steve from Weathersville, Connecticut. Is CT Connecticut? Yeah. I like. Yeah, I remember reading that now. I like Hebrews where it says, in the past God spoke to our our forefathers through various times in many ways, but in these last days he has spoken to us through his son, whom he appointed heir of all things. So to us, it's Jesus. He's everything. He's more powerful than the angels. He's greater than anything that comes up in the book of Hebrews. So Jesus is... Being God in the flesh, that is who we worship, who we pray to, and on, and only to him. We go directly to the source right there. So that may be a little bit of difference, but we're putting our faith in God and in Christ just like they would be. The, yeah. doc- the doctrine is the only thing a little bit different. And we do. And, stuff and man different. needs to really get over that. I always say this. They ask me, okay. Who do you run with? I run with the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> who do I, who do I run with? If you run with him too, then guess what? You're part of the family. We're on the same team. Yeah. We're on the same team. Right. Yeah, that's the reason I started because I was like, well, as yeah. long as we're, as long as you have a personal relationship with God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, it yeah. doesn't matter what you put in front of it. The name. Well, it doesn't matter the traditions you may practice yeah. in my opinion it's all about the relationship that you have with our father and as long as that relationship is solid do it however you feel needs to be done i'm not one to say getting spritzed with water is a bad thing or getting you know speaking in tongues or whatever that relationship is for you and brings that home and makes you feel closer i'm for it like as long as it's biblical yeah, as long as it's biblical, we're the, cool. The, like, assen- the essential things that I, that I'll never back off are these: God became flesh; He made His dwelling among us. He died; He was buried; and He was raised to forgive our sins. Yeah. Now we're all in the same boat. We all need forgiveness. Yeah. And He's at the right hand of the Father, mediating on our behalf. Those of us who believe in Him. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, awesome. Agreed. You want to send us out? I got I got some Bible verse that kind of uh, uh, is along the lines of, you know, denominations and all that fun stuff. You know, we Sasai puts it the best way. Who's he run with? Father, yeah. Son, and the Holy Spirit. And here's what the son said. Uh, there was a weird moment. They asked him, teacher, we saw someone driving out demons in your names, but we told him to stop because he ain't one of us. He ain't in our circle, basically. And Jesus said, do not stop him for... No one who does a miracle in my name can in the next moment say anything bad about me, for whoever is not against us is for us. Truly, I tell you, anyone who gives you a cup of water in my name because you belong to the Messiah will certainly not lose their reward. To me, that verse, Jesus is saying, we're oh. all on the same yeah. team. Yeah. yeah. So Catholic, Baptist, Pentecostal, Church of Christ, whatever your flavor is, I'm with you. So I said it best. He said, I wish a big, strong wind would come through and blow every sign down. <laughs> Let's let us all come no, no. together. Uh, Amen. Uh, they come together. Yeah. Good one. Get rid of the signs. Yeah. Amen. Get rid of the signs, the names. Okay. Love the it. name, the name that's important is Jesus Christ. Hey. There you go. Man. Perfect. Okay. All right. That's good. We'll see y'all next time. See right y'all. Here. We're out.